Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn the calendar component from end design. We will see how we can render the calendar component, how we can select different dates of the calendar, how we can choose different years, different months, how we can choose between the month and the year view. Also, we will see how we can render our custom messages on the month view as well as on the dates. So let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the calendar component from end design and start using it. So it will be calendar and if I save it, here you go. So it has shown the calendar for current month, October 2022 and selected the two days date. From the calendar header, we can change the year, we can change the month and we have the button for selecting between the month and the year view. So if we select the year view, you can select the month from here. And if you are on the month view, you can select the dates, right? And while you are selecting the dates or changing them or selecting the months, uh, you can capture those values. Here. So for the date, you can get the value on select. So it will be giving us the date which user has selected. So let's console that. So we can say selected date and it is it right let's save it and go to the console okay and if i now select any of the date it is saying that you have selected wednesday september 5 and 2018 so 2018 september 5 wednesday right so if i change it so it is selecting accordingly so if i go to the june it says you have you have selected the june and if I change the year, it will say that it is now Friday, June 7, 2013. So Friday, June 2013, hence date is 7th, right? And you can change it from here. So from wherever you are changing uh, the date or the month or the year, so you will get that captured in, inside the on select, right? And if you want that uh, some of the dates sh should not be selectable, so we can disable th those dates as well. So it will give uh, us for the each and every date. So we can say maybe if let's convert this date parameter into our JavaScript date and then we can get the date and we can say if the date is greater than maybe uh, we can say 22, then those are disabled. That means we are returning true because we are saying disable date. So we will be returning true uh, if the date is disabled and if it is not disabled, we will return false, right? So if I now save it and refresh, okay, here you go. So the dates which are uh, greater than 22 are disabled, right? So user cannot select those. And if it is below 22, user can select these. So, so, so here you can uh, apply any logic. You can say if, if those are between this date and this date, then disable it. Or if it is this, 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 this date, then disable it. Maybe you can say if it is on the weekend, then disable it. So, so you can uh, do the, uh, your logic here and those dates will not be selectable, right? And if you want to render some custom text or messages on uh, these date cells, uh, we can render those as well using the prop date cell render and it will give us the date and we can check if it is this particular date then render this one if this is this particular date then render that one so we can do based on the date so let's render some custom text on uh, today's date so maybe we can say if new date of date dot get date is equal to equal to we can say two days date, right? And then maybe we can say return maybe H5 and we can say tutorial day, right? If save it, here you go. It says tutorial day. And if I go to maybe on different day, so if it is again the 19th, then it is saying it is tutorial day. If we want to do exactly if it is today, then we can say if the date is 
is today and if the uh, month is equal to today's month if the year is equal to today so things like that we can do that accordingly and similarly for the month cells we can render anything here as well so that will be on the month cell render and here again we will be getting the date and here we can say maybe if instead of the date if it is uh, this month right then we can say tutorial month right if i save it here you go for the october it is saying tutorial month and if you go to the month for the this particular date it is saying tutorial day right so using this approach you can render anything on that in the month or render anything on any particular date so that's it on exploring the calendar component from end design but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you